Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Hellspot and Z, and today I'm coming with you something a little different. Usually this is a gameplay, no commentary gameplay videos, but you know, I thought I'd come with something different, you know. Last time I didn't like a, a speaking when we heard my voice was a couple of years ago. And now you actually get, put my face to voice. Anyway, I came up with this idea since watching another YouTuber called Alana Pierce or aka Charolano Bad and it's 8 things in my bedroom vlog and it's just showing the 8 things that randomly in my bedroom first thing Berserk the first time I saw or got seen a mention of Berserk was in Screw Attack where they did Guts vs Nightmare and you know through watching it through um, they were doing the description of uh, Guts and you just see his backstory and I was like damn boy that's some, that's some that's some dark shit that's some deep shit so you know I went after watching it I went next day I went to the Sanity which is a video store and I bought it and after and I watched it and after watching it, I was like damn sure or there even more I was like that's some that is really really some dark shit you know it's freaking it's dark but it's freaking awesome it's some of it's fucked up but you know it's pretty awesome and i've only <laughs> it's truly really true i've only watched it once but it's freaking awesome um i can't you know express that you should go watch it even if, if you don't like dark shit maybe pass it but you should watch it if you haven't watched it another thing Boba Fett figurine I, this is the one of the oldest things I've had in possession I think I got this when I was 10 and I'm 27 now and you know that kind of a little long time to hold on to something not lose it or get rid of it and yeah um, I think I was, it was Christmas time I got it, living about Chimera, and yet he's lost things like his pistol and his jetpack, but for some reason he hasn't lost his freaking scarf cape thing, and it's just, and one of the things I love about it is because Boba Fett is my favourite character in Star Wars, and for some reason I've just kept it and freaking awesome. Another thing, mouthwash. Why not? Why not mouthwash in a bit our bedroom? You know when you're lazy and you don't want to brush your teeth? Mouthwash will do the job. You know, it's simple, easy, makes freaking taste, makes your mouth taste horrible, but you know, it's when you're freaking lazy and you got something, or you're in a rush, you're going to like go to work or you slept in mouthwash it even though brushing your teeth is better than mouthwash but you know another thing the legend of zelda poster i got this asking where you got, i got this i don't know where you can get them but i got it from a, a, a rk block I don't get them anymore, but yeah, I got this from an RK block, and I haven't, as you see, I haven't freaking taken this tool off. I'm not really a fan of of Zelda, but you know, it's something that's in my room. I kept it. I haven't. I don't think I'll probably sell it, but you know, it's kind of cool. It's pretty cool, but you know, as I said, I'm not really a fan, but I think it's pretty cool. You know, the sword and shield. I think it's called a Triforce, but you know. That's another thing. Um, uh, this is another thing. I've had this is probably the oldest thing I have in collection. I've got this. I had this preschool. I don't. I can't remember if preschool, preschool or kindergarten first. I don't remember which one. I'm 27. I'm not all there. I'm not the smartest guy, so I don't really know which one comes first. But I've had this since preschool, so that's probably preschool. I don't, I don't know what 
the ages, but I think it's about five. I think uh, you go to preschool at five in Australia. I think so. But anyway, I, this is one of the oldest things I have in collection. It's I'm still in pretty good nick, even though I've moved a lot. And you know, it's I, I don't know how many times I read it as a kid. When I was a kid, I before video games and movies, this is the thing. Reading was a thing that I did a lot, and you know, this thing I've this book I've read heaps. Okay, uh, another thing. A bulldog's cap, a bulldog snap cap. It's I have never worn this because I do not like snapback. But anyway, why do you buy a snap cap if you don't like a snapback cap? Because it's a bulldog's hat. My favorite team, football team, is the bulldogs. I may not wear it, but you know it's somewhat collective, collectible, and some some shit is. You collect things and you don't like shoes and hats. Some things you collect and just you know another thing, another old thing I've had teddy bear. I've had this. I can't remember how long. I think even before when I was a baby. I know this is the oldest thing I've had. Uh, for a while there, I thought I actually lost it because. I actually moved to Mackay or Rockhampton and I actually in the move I couldn't find it but then when I moved back down here to Brisbane I was like I found it again I was like oh so you know I thought I'd keep it all these years I thought I'd keep it and like just in case if I have kids which I don't think probably happen but you know who what, stranger things happen but and yeah this is a weird thing that so my thing is like, you have a teddy bear, seriously, boy, you weird teddy bear, you're 27, you have a teddy bear. Uh, uh, what can I say? I'm not really, I don't really have sentimental value over things, but I've had the, the oldest thing and for some reason I just keep it, because for some reason. And probably the last thing, The Mentalist, one of my favourite TV shows. And Simon Baker, he's an Aussie, a fellow Aussie, probably one of my favourite Australian actors. He doesn't get enough props, I think. He's kind of an under, what do you call, underrated actor. And, you know, as well as another underrated actor, he's not Australian, but Thomas Jane. I freaking loved it in Punisher. But, Anyway, in a mentalist, I think he is built for the role. The like the mentalist is Simon Barker. You know his name, Simon Barker. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Simon Baker. Simon Baker. That's his name. Which also, when it comes with a thing, I read this one thing about Australians over in Hollywood. There was an article on the internet, and you know the internet always, it always tells the truth. It never lies. And it was like an article said that American actors are getting pissed off about Australian actors taking their jobs. And I was like, you're getting pissed off because Australian actors are taking your jobs. And I think it's the like the B grade actors. Not, I don't think it's like the A grade. I think it's the B grade. I can't remember 100 percent what the article said because I don't really remember a lot of shit but I thought I saw that and I was like wow that's some shit there's not many Australian actors in a Hollywood that I can think of I mean there's but off the top of my head there's uh, Simon Baker, Hugh Jackman, uh, Chris Hemsworth, Hugo Weaving, Nicole Kidman, um, <laughs> Naomi Watts, uh, Mel Gibson, Liam Hemsworth. Uh, I know there's more, but I can't think they're off the top of my head. You're probably saying, why? Why not? Why didn't say Russell Crowe? Technically, he's not Australian. 
he's actually in New Zealand, but for some reason we talk claim to him. But yeah, and but anyway, I just thought that was weird that American actors were kind of sucking over Australian actors taking their jobs. It's not the Australian actors' fault. It's like director. It's not really their fault because the director or the casting agent thought that the, the Aussie actor did a better job than the American actor. So you're talking about really nothing. But eh. I think, and I think all those things I showed you, I think there's something weird. But you know, one last thing for all your people that still watch this, I don't know if you found some entertainment out of it, even over after my stuttering and my weirdness. I'm a weird talker, I'm not really good at words, but you know, one more last thing, you people who like cats, I thought, why not show my little kitten, why not show my kitten, this is Buffy, I bought her, I got her from a, didn't boil, I got her from a shelter, don't buy cats from shelters, I got her from a shelter, you know, if you always want a cat, you get them from a shelter, if you don't buy them, buy them, you get them from a shelter, because shelters are better, you know, you can save cats, you know, blah, blah, blah. she was talking about adorable people like Alana Pierce, isn't, my, isn't Buffy adorable? She's adorable. <laughs> okay, this just got weird. Anyway, I'm sorry if I've stuttered a lot and if this, like, you watch this two seconds it's like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, he's crazy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and anyway, I will link, if you like this or you want to see a better version of this, I will link Alana Pierce's original video where I got this idea from in the description. You should go watch her this video, she is way better over my stuttering ass. Anyway, I'm Hellspot Energy and I'll see you later.